I received an interesting question in my contact form recently by the name of Tiffany, and I want to go over it with you guys today. I believe this will help those of you who are actively researching and searching for a debt tool such as a home equity line of credit, either in the first or second position and or a personal line of credit. It's very important that we read the terms, ladies and gentlemen. It's very important that we double and triple check before we even apply and even during the application process, making sure that everything is spelled out correctly. Everything makes clear and perfect sense so that we don't run into a potential issue where we think we have something according to what Denzel's videos was sharing ends up not being the case, right? This happens way too often, no matter how much content I put out, no matter how much warnings I give. I know you guys are in desperate, desperate financial situations, which causes you to make fast decisions without thinking it logically through. So I'm going to continue to do my part in trying to warn you all about all the different precautions. And if I can give you a real life situation, hopefully it becomes even more real. And maybe I can prevent more and more people from basically shooting themselves in the foot or making a big mistake. So for full context here, I don't have all the information. This is when you guys fill out a contact form and you provide me details. So I'm going off of whatever this particular person said. So shout out to Tiffany for reaching out. She did not provide her numbers. Um, only a question regarding that we got a $50,000 home equity line of credit HELOC with what we thought was a fixed rate. So they thought they had a home equity line of credit in the second position at a fixed rate. Do we know how long? We don't know that, right? I don't know if they got a intro rate period and then it goes over, or maybe they thought they were getting a fixed rate and then the bank gave them a variable rate, right? So I'm going to assume that they have a $50,000 home equity line of credit at a variable rate. I don't know what that rate is. They did not disclose that. So here they said, we paid off credit cards and put back what we didn't use, right? So it sounds like they got a home equity line of credit for 50K and the bank told them that they had to do an initial withdrawal of a certain dollar amount, right? Let's assume it was $25,000, right? So the bank told them that they had to do a initial withdrawal of $25,000. And what did they do? They paid off a bunch of different credit cards. They probably saved money on interest, recaptured cash flow. And then there was maybe say an extra 10 grand that they didn't necessarily need to pull out of the HELOC, but because the bank has a potential limit as to how much you're supposed to pull out, they just simply threw the 10K right back into the HELOC. Now here's what can happen. In the terms and conditions and agreements, if a bank requires you to take out $20,000, $25,000 initial lump sum at a fixed rate for a period of time and you go and pay that off early, there could be an additional fee for doing that. So you're going to get incentivized to keep the debt outstanding. To try and manipulate this, let's say you're forced to take out $25,000, but you only needed fifteen dollars to consolidate a certain amount of debt to get your cash flow going. Instead of throwing the 10K back in, we can start doing velocity banking, but never pay off the full 25K. So you always leave a balance running on the HELOC during that intro rate fixed period that we're supposed to keep the debt on. It doesn't say that we can't pay back $24,999.99. It says, that if you pay off this entire balance or something to that nature before the period, then you're going to charge you a fee or they might change the rate on you. And then so you lose out on that intro rate period. My personal opinion, I try to avoid those kinds of HELOCs in the first place because there's plenty of HELOCs that allow me to withdraw when I'm good and ready. I don't have to initially close on the HELOC and immediately pull money out. Don't have to do that. So it sounds like they got that kind of a HELOC, which means they probably did not spend enough time either on my channel or other people's channel to get themselves educated, right? So now this is a real life situation for those who are watching this video, coming across Velocity Bank for the first time, you're thinking about using a HELOC to accelerate some debt. This is your warning, right? Read the terms. So they continue to say that, uh, that we have been using, so we paid off credit cards, put back what we didn't use. We have been using credit cards or credit card to cover 
our monthly expenses cool so they're running bills through a credit card and then paying it off in full from the heloc okay great while dumping paychecks into the home equity line of credit so they get that part they're dumping their income into the home equity line of credit they're withdrawing money to pay bills when they're due and here's what they said when we went to pull money from the home equity line of credit to pay the credit card it caused an additional 75 dollars to be added onto our monthly bill so i think they're referring to the heloc not the credit card they said we can't understand how our current balance is forty thousand dollars so clearly they've leveraged what more than two-thirds of the home equity line of credit so we are over leveraged right the credit limits 50k 66 percent is our typical leverage rules so that's thirty three thousand they're seven thousand dollars above leverage right i don't know what their income is or cash flow is because they didn't put the numbers in but i'm going to assume that they're making the you know average income if they were making way more they probably have a much bigger heloc so i'm gonna assume they're not making a whole lot of money and they were told to withdraw a, a pretty large amount of money they got forty thousand dollars owed on the heloc right so they said our current balance is forty thousand so why is our payment higher question mark they said that their first heloc draw was in august 15th second and third draws within the last 30 days and they submitted the contact form on september 11th so they reached out september 11th they must have got the heloc back in early august of 2023 did their first draw on august 15th so that's probably like the day before uh, the day after closing or something like that and then they did a second and third draw within the last 30 days what are we doing wrong well, the first thing that they're doing wrong is they're potentially over leveraging the home equity line of credit the second thing is they didn't read the terms and agreements they thought they're at a fixed rate maybe they're not now they're at a variable rate or because they might have violated the whole take money out and then they threw it back in and maybe they paid it off and then took money out again i don't know but it does sound like they owe quite a bit of money currently on the home equity line so if i owe forty thousand dollars whatever the interest rate is you times that you're gonna get a number divide by 12 that's gonna be your interest only payment per month so we also don't know if this home equity line of credit is a interest only payment or if it's a principal and interest payment because they thought they had a fixed rate maybe they also thought that they would have a fixed payment because they're not at a fixed rate they do not have a fixed payment now even if they had a fixed rate on a home equity line of credit that does not mean you will have a fixed monthly payment it's another thing right that payment is fluctuating according to how much we owe on that heloc on a daily basis right so let's assume that this home equity line of credit is principal and interest and they're at a variable rate now their payment will go will fluctuate it can go up it can go down so now they did say that it caused an additional 75 dollars. so it sounds like maybe they're being charged some kind of a fee to withdraw money right or access their cash that's another thing we need to be on the lookout for if there are additional fees to access the funds right so again this is all a warning video to not rush into velocity banking this is a a complex concept it's more of a paradigm shift first it takes time before the light bulb goes off and you fully get it once the light bulb goes off you've had the paradigm shift and you fully get it you get the math then you can say velocity banking is pretty easy all right it's pretty simple but for majority of people velocity banking is not easy it's not simple and it's probably not for everyone to just try and use it may not be for everyone and i like to be up forward about that like when velocity banking doesn't make sense we simply don't use it that's it don't force it unless we can get a lower rate on the line a lower cost of borrowing compared to whatever it is we're paying off and you're able to create an offset and increase cash flow great go for it but if you don't have the wherewithal you don't you didn't, haven't had the paradigm shift you're not educated you get the wrong tool again we're you just go in the wrong direction really really fast so hope this video helps my name is denzel rodriguez personal finance geek of the 21st century